Okay, since we have um, since we have these two different scales, there is some a little bit of a uh, futzing to do with the text. Okay, so if I'm gonna type in uh, type in a text here to say that this is the elevation, I'm gonna type in text, and with that I get a dialog box, and right here it says it is one inch. I I don't I don't want the thing one inch because this is gonna be one inch real size, which means that it's gonna be yay small, you know, compared to the building. So I'm gonna make this into 18 inches, which is a foot and a half. Foot and a half compared to the actual building should be about right, okay? And then rotation, nothing, and then I'll say this is elevation. Whoops. Up elevation. I'm the worst speller, so please forgive me, and then plug it in there. Okay, so that font or that uh, text is relative to the building that I put. So this is an actual one and a half foot foot tall text. Okay, so it's not an eighth inch text. Actually, this will be a three sixteen text at scale, and we'll explain all that later. But we try to line it up with the ends of the drawing and stuff. Oh, I added a five foot. Um, ground line to extend the ground. You could just draw a simple line that uh, from one end to the other or however, however way you want to draw a line or you could just add a five foot line and then connect all of these bottom up later. But anyways, I have this uh, title, okay? The scale, um, the scale notation is another thing. We usually said that uh, we're going to do something and scale 0.5, let's say. Oops. Okay, I just said I just hit 0.5, which is half the size of this thing. So if I wanted to, I could change that to one eighth inch equal one foot zero inches. <laughs> okay, one eighth inch equal one foot zero inches, and then say okay, not hit. Uh, oh, not hit. Um, what you call it? Not hit enter. That was stupid. Okay. And so you could have done it this way, or we might use something called a graphic scale. So if you use a graphic scale, there's probably no need to use a, a uh, what you call it, uh, a ring scale. Okay. For the graphic scale, I'm going to draw a line. And I'll draw it from here up one foot, just for the heck of it. And there is a line. So if I if I offset that that line, offset, type in offset, the distance is going to be one foot. And put that there and make put it towards the right, left, right, right, right hand side of the screen. That right there, if I measure it, distance, that is one foot, right? If I do the same thing, offset, and select the distance as two foot from the original line, that would give me a foot, two foot difference. If I do the same thing, offset, and type in the distance as four foot, and I'm actually typing in the, the foot mark and stuff, that'll be four foot. If I type in offset uh, eight foot, and go from the original line, chunk it over there. That is a foot. So that is going to be give me a basis of a graphic scale. So if I measure this distance from here to here is eight foot, which I could now use this as a custom ruler. Let's say to bring this and say uh, if I want to measure this thing up right there, that part right there is going to be what? 
about four foot of that lines up with that. So that's like four foot right there, right? So what I'm doing is making a custom ruler. That's basically what I am doing. So if I go ahead and type in a text and type in, let's say, um, yeah, let's say one foot. Oops, sorry, I screwed that up. Let's say 12 inches and then type in zero there and say okay and plunk it over here actually that's too too big huh so maybe i'll make it six inches at some point it's going to get too small for the for the what you call it uh, and take it to the center justify okay and then move it from that point eight, to that point there, and copy that from endpoint to endpoint. That'll give me uh, that'll give me zero to one foot. So I will change this to one foot right there, one foot, and then change this to two foot, and change the sky to four foot and change this to eight foot. Okay, that gives me my custom ruler, which I could now put it somewhere on the board, trying to line it up with other elements of the drawings and such. Okay, and that would be enough. Now, we made, we made uh, these set of fonts, but let's just, let's just hypothetically uh, say that I wanna use this over here. Ah, Gersh. Control Z. I want to use this, so I want to copy this over and use it for my use it for my uh, for my section or floor plan. But we know that the floor plan and section was made at a different scale, right? So what that means is that for this, if you look at this uh, set of text right there, come on. If you look at this set, set of text right here, Relative to the paper, does that not look a lot larger than this guy does relative to the building or relative to the paper, right? So that looks way big. This being the paper that it is, this being the paper that it is, this font is a lot smaller compared to the size of the paper. This font is a lot bigger compared to the size of the paper. Since this is a quarter inch drawing and this is an eighth inch drawing, I'm gonna to have to do something with these guys right here, the, the font itself, and actually make it half the size of, of, the, of the original one, half the size, okay. And if I do that, does that, that scene right there, that text compared to the building, or I'm sorry, compared to the to the paper, does it not look very similar to to that paper to that text, at least the size of it? Okay, so you could you're going to have to start to um, you're going to have to start to figure out the scale of the font according to the scale of the paper size. Okay, like I said, when we do AutoCAD, you probably won't need to deal with this any longer. And the scale that we made, this being zero to one, one to two feet right there, uh, this was actually for the eighth inch scale, so which means that, that this guy is actually now wrong. It's, it's half that. So this probably has to be changed to two feet. This has to be changed to four feet. This has to be changed to uh, eight feet. 
and this, wait a minute, sorry. Wrong way, right? This has, from here to here, it right. did, I, did I have it right? Yeah. Okay, so change it to the, change it to the other, um, uh, other sets. How come my fortune color is not showing up? Oh. Okay. And then I guess this is 16. 16. Yes. Okay. So just do that. And maybe we will uh, change the size of these fonts to half the size. And that will appear correctly onto the, the sheet. This probably I have to change the size to the half size of the sheet. And that's not that important for, for our thing right now. It's basically whatever font size you use for the one or the scale that you use for the other, the scale uh, size that we use for the other, uh, it should probably match or it should be relative to the scale of the sheet that you use. Okay. Like I said, this guy uh, does not need scale just needs to be titled in the same uh, font. Since this and this is the same paper size, I could just go ahead and copy this. We usually don't, we usually don't uh, name it perspective, but uh, I'll just do that for perspective. And that when this all prints out, this text relative to this paper will be the same as this text size relative to this side of the paper. Okay, so that's it for this part of the lesson and then we'll go on to printing.